Using the A-frame with its associated block and tackle rigging, servicing section personnel will now lift the rotating frame assembly, known as the tilt ring, off of the launcher for attachment to the base of the thrust unit. The tilt ring attached to the bottom of the thrust unit allows the missile, once it is in the vertical firing position, to be rotated on the launcher to the proper firing azimuth. The tilt ring contains four locking collars. These locking collars are connected to four lugs which protrude from the bottom of each of the four fins of the thrust unit. The four locking collars on the tilt ring are tightened onto the four lugs with the use of a spanner wrench and a soft headed mallet. The crew will now install the high pressure valve box onto the tilt ring. High pressure air at 3000 psi is routed from the air handler trailer to the high pressure spheres located in the thrust unit and the aft unit through the valve box. Servicing section personnel will now connect the lifting bridle suspended from the A-frame to the side of the thrust unit in order to lift the thrust unit out of its transport trailer. The thrust unit has been hoisted to a height sufficient to allow the transport trailer to be driven out from underneath the thrust unit. The thrust unit was then lowered to allow it to be mated to the missile body. The missile body is secured to the warhead trailer. The warhead trailer will now be backed down to the thrust unit for mating of the two missile sections. Six ball and socket guide pins extend from the aft unit. These ball and socket fittings allow for precise alignment and mating of the two missile sections. The two missile sections were then joined together by threading six explosive bolts through the six ball and socket guide pins. The six bolts were tightened to a specific inch-pound setting with the use of a torque wrench. With missile assembly completed, 
The tilt ring was then connected to its two pivot points on the launcher.